Hi YouTube, this is Bensa from Volumoto Customs, welcome to the channel. In this video I've brought you something a little bit different. So over the Christmas holiday I found my old Java Babetta 207 in the back of the garage at my parents. So this little moped is from 82 and I built and rode it when I was about 10 to 12 years old. Back in the 80s it was my grandma's bike and she used it to commute to work every day for many many years. In this video I'm gonna show you the bike and we're gonna try to get her running after about standing for 12 years. Let's talk a bit about the specifications of the bike. 49cc, one cylinder air cooled two stroke engine in its prime producing two horsepower. As I mentioned this is from 1982 and the factory given maximum speed was 48 km per hour. Moving on to the custom bits, starting with the obvious modification, the seat. So the original bicycle seat was replaced with the scooter seat and fastened down with some flat bars in the back and the front. This is how the bike looked originally, with the tall handlebars, the seat and the original color. And moving on to the color, you can see it has been repainted. This green and red color scheme actually comes from class harvesters. We had some leftover paint and thought it would look good on this little moped. Moving on to the exhaust. When originally modified, it used to have a performance exhaust from a scooter, but I got a Honda MB50 for my 13th birthday and the exhaust was swapped over with the Hondas. If you're looking at the front end of the bike, the highlight is the motocross mud guard that I got from a friend's bicycle. Strengthening the off-road look is the tires and spoked wheels and of course the upside down forks that are in this case original to the bike. Both the front and the rear is equipped with drum brakes. The pads in this case are quite worn and the brakes don't work very well but with the proper pads and the proper adjustment you can actually achieve quite good braking power and it's perfectly adequate for this little bike. For lighting, there was installed a hella fog light, which you'll see later is plenty bright. I have also installed a speedometer from a bicycle, and this worked pretty well. Moving on, you can see there is a shifting lever from a bicycle installed. This is used for the decompressor. For those of you not familiar, when this lever is pulled, through the cable another lever is actuated at the cylinder, which lets out the compression from the engine. This is used to ease startup. The bike originally had pedals, which were used to rotate the compression-free engine around, therefore easily rotating the crankshaft. When the compression was reintroduced, the bike would easily start. You can see the freewheeling sprocket on the other side of the hub. There was a bicycle chain installed here, and through that the engine could be rotated around. So when the outer weight comes out, this is how it looks. There are two weights here and these are on a much, much lighter spring. You can see fairly easy to move them, but those are not holding onto this. They are actually holding onto the inside of this one. You can see it's, it's pretty okay, but I'm going to clean it up. We'll take these two out as well and clean them and put everything back together and see what happens. You can see the surface looks a bit oily and very shiny. I'm gonna try to 
just sand it a little bit with a very fine uh, sandpaper. Just try to evenly sand it back a bit. It looks like this and then when the centrifugal force pushes it out it should stick to this surface and start rotating this hole which in turn will start rotating the cr uh, crankshaft and the engine starts and then when you pull the gas the opposite happens this will start spinning and these weights will go out and start spinning this one here which starts turning the wheel. So now it's just putting the jets back in and putting together the carb again, put it in the bike, put some fresh fuel in it. Of course I need to see if it's still, if the fuel is getting through to the carb, but I don't see why wouldn't it. So I believe it will work. This is the reserve and it looks like there's no fuel coming through. Yeah. And it's um, pretty nasty.
So the bike is put back together and I guess it's ready to start.
Thanks very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If so, consider hitting the thumbs up button below. If you'd like to see more content like this, consider subscribing and following me on Instagram. Bye for now.